Oh good, the Houthis may have hypersonic missiles now. That should help ease tensions in the Middle East, said no one. Okay, so before we go further with this story, I just want to say from the outset, most of the details are coming from Russia, Iran, and the Houthis. So you may want to take a lot of this with a grain of salt. According to Russia's state-owned Ria Novosti news agency, the Houthi militants in Yemen are now in possession of hypersonic missiles. When the news first broke, there was talk the Houthis themselves had developed the weapons, which seems unlikely given they have neither the technical ability nor industrial infrastructure to develop such devices. But you know who may have hypersonic missiles? Iran. It's called the Fatah, or Conqueror in Farsi, and the Iranian regime launched a PR campaign around it last year, complete with artistic billboards saying the missile flies faster than 5,100 meters per second, or right around 11,500 miles per hour, fast enough to reach Israel in just 400 seconds. That's what Iran says the Fatah can do. Sabrina Singh, the Pentagon spokesperson, said there is no indication the Iranian regime even has hypersonic capabilities, but that doesn't mean it isn't trying to develop them and use the Red Sea as a testing ground. We know commanders from the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps are fighting shoulder to shoulder with the Houthis in Yemen, and there is a well-established smuggling pipeline of weapons from Iran going to Yemen and the Houthis. Multiple shipments were seized in just the last few months alone, including one cache of items that included components for Iranian-made underwater drones. So, while it's unclear whether Iran's Fatah missile really is hypersonic, it is absolutely possible the Houthis at least have them and are getting ready to use them. The Houthis started hinting about surprises in store for their at-sea battles weeks ago, and the Houthis' leader said the group was going to start attacking ships trying to sail around Africa. That's another prospect which seems unlikely given their location in Yemen, but could be possible if Iran supplies the Houthis with boats, like the ones they just sent to Venezuela. The one thing that is abundantly clear, though, the Houthis are not being deterred by the numerous airstrikes from the U.S. and U.K., however accurate they may be. Thank <music> you.